Pop. السلام عليكم هاو يو الناس از كراودد وعليكم السلام Just give me uh, two minutes, I will, will begin the class channel. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everyone. How are you? How was fasting? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. I hope the fasting is, is doing well with you all. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, how are you doing, uh, Miss Aisha? Alhamdulillah. Okay, so, so now uh, is it uh, is it fasting time in your in your place, or you have already break your fast? Just use use it. It's still fasting time for all of you. Okay, you are still in fasting. Yeah, I've almost. One hour, May. Okay, I know some of us are already, uh, they have broke the first. Okay, anyway, uh, let's begin because our class today is going to be um, one hour only. So first, let me share the...
this screen. Okay, can you see the screen, please? If you see it, you tell me in the chat. Uh, Nam. Okay. Shukran. Okay, fine. Uh, welcome to lecture number 16. Um, uh, today is going to be a very light class. I want to do some exercise on what we studied last two weeks, uh, Arabic adjectives. And then our conversation topic today is about education and studying. So let's let's begin with the exercise on Arabic adjectives. So here we have some sentences and we want to identify or specify the adjective and to state the type of the adjective. Let me give you the clue or the key you are going to use to uh, extract the Arabic adjective. We said we have, if we are talking about a single adjective, which is one single word, so we have two indications. We can see two indefinite nouns in series or two definite nouns. So once we see two indefinite nouns uh, after each other, and the second one is given description about the first one, or two definite nouns after each other, and the second one is describing the first one. So the second is an adjective, like these examples. Talibun. Mujtahidun. Okay. We have two indefinite nouns here. And the second one is given description about the first one. So the second one in red color is an adjective. And the type of this adjective is single, mufra, because it's a single word. The second example, definite plus indefinite. We have the same example, but I added the definite article, al. Aqtalibu. We have a mistake here, it's supposed to be Aqtalibu Al Mujtahidu. Okay, Aqtalibu Al Mujtahidu. Here we have two definite nouns, and also the second one is given description about the first one. So the second one in red color is an adjective. Or we have this <coughs> combination indefinite noun plus a sentence or a quasi sentence. It can be any of the two types of sentences. We have two types, right? We have nominal sentence, jumlatun ismiya, and we have verbal sentence, jumlatun fi'liya. And also a quasi sentence, shibhu jumla, we have two types. We have proposition plus a noun, or adverb plus a noun, okay? So the main idea here, once you see an indefinite noun, and after this indefinite noun, we see a complete sentence or a quasi sentence, this sentence is most likely an adjective, like here. رأيتو... <coughs> Sorry. رأيتو طالبا يجتهدو. <coughs> here, the word طالبا is an indefinite noun. <coughs> and after this indefinite, we see a verbal sentence, يجتهدو. Okay? So this verbal sentence is given description about a talib. What is the description or what is the idea about a talib? He is studying hard. يجتهد is a verb means to study hard. Okay? So now, the verbal sentence يجتهدو is an adjective, and its type is a verbal sentence adjective. <coughs> the same idea here, we are looking for an indefinite noun. And after this indefinite, we see a quasi-sentence, في الفصل. So this quasi-sentence, شبه الجملة, is given description for a طالب. رأيت طالبا, I saw a student. What about him in the class? So in the class, filfos is an adjective for the student. So if we are um, having a single adjective, 
So the single adjective will follow the noun or the described noun, like here. It will follow the noun. الطالبو المجتهدو In four uh, features, as we said. Definiteness and indefiniteness. In gender, number, and also the case ending. This is uh, in the case of a single adjective. But in case we have a sentence adjective or a quasi-sentence adjective, so in this case, we are looking for an indefinite noun. So I hope this scheme is in your mind because we are going to apply it now. <clears throat> Uh, so we have uh, some sentences here. Who is going to um, read the first one? If you are ready, please, you will uh, raise up your hand. No one is ready? All fast, you know? Okay, we have uh, Miss Doya. Okay, please open your mic. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Can you hear me? Uh, the the voice is too small. Is it uh, Taya? This is your name. Yes. Yes. Okay. Salam alaikum no. Wa alaikum salam. This is the first time you join us, right? Yes, this is my very first time. Okay. Uh, can you introduce yourself, if if you may? Yes. My name is Tia, and I'm an Indonesian. This is currently I live in uh, India. Okay. You are welcome. So you have you have some basics in Arabic, or this is your first time? Um, actually, I I started my journey in Arabic uh, about uh, from mid uh, December, so it's about three months. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, you are welcome. If, uh, yeah. Yes, if you don't mind, I would like to stay as the listener. Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, the participation is optional. It's up to you. I was calling uh, Miss uh, Dia. She was raising her hand. No, no, sorry. Can I? Yeah, yes, please. Uh, read the first sentence. Haza manzilun dayyukun. Okay, haza manzilun dayyukun. Uh, can you identify the adjective or a not? Bayyukun. Okay, bayyuk. This one is the adjective. Okay. Um, why is it an adjective of this noun? Because it is mufrat and it is following manut in all four. Expect. Okay. Uh, can you can you please name these four uh, aspects? Um, manzil is without al. Uh, nak, uh, mar, uh, sorry, I forgot the name. Nakra, I think. Yes, nakra, indefinite. And manzil is indefinite, one. and also bayak is indefinite. This is number one. Number two. It is mufrat. <coughs> what? I mean, both are, both are singular. Yes, both are th singular. This is number number two. This one is singular, and also the adjective is singular. Number three? Gender. gender. Same gender. Okay, which, is it masculine or feminine? Masculine. Yes, number three is gender. Both of them are masculine. And, and lastly, what? Uh, case ending. The case ending. Era. Here we see uh, Dhamma, the case ending yes. number four. So in, in the four aspects of adjectives, we are seeing uh, uh, um they are uh, like each other okay what if i just added decided to add l here so what 
what are the adjustments I must do? <coughs> so I want this one to be the adjective. What should we do? Al, add al. Okay, we add l because here we define it. We we made it definite by adding l the definite article, and also the adjective will be definite. Okay, what else? Remove the tanwin. I mean. Okay, we remove tanwin and we make it what? Single dama. Okay, we make it single dama because now it's definite and definite are taking single uh, case in there. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Dia. Thank you for participation. <coughs> so as we have seen, the adjective is following the noun in four aspects or four features. Let me get it back to the original. <coughs> this word bayak means narrow in English. Let me write it down. Okay, and also in Arabic, the adjective uh, is following the noun. It's not like in English. In English, the adjective precedes uh, the noun. It's coming before the noun, like um, a good boy, good boy. Good is the adjective. Uh, it comes before they describe boy. But here in Arabic, it's vice versa. The adjective is, is following the noun. Okay, let's see. The second, um, who is ready to read the second sentence? <clears throat> okay, Mr. Gianni, he is ready. Hello. Hello, um, how are you? Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, Ada Ama, Amalun, uh, Yang Fao. Yes. There is an adjective here in this sentence. Can you identify it? Uh, it's going to be Yang Fao. Oh. Okay, Yang Fao. Why did you pick this word? Um, it's uh, uh, a sentence following uh, an indefinite. Uh... Yes, exactly. We have an indefinite noun here, Amalun. How did we know it's indefinite? You can easily identify or you can easily say from the case ending. We see uh, tenween or double case ending, which means this noun is indefinite. And after this indefinite noun, we see a complete sentence. <coughs> what is the type of this sentence? Is it a single adjective? <coughs> what do you mean? It's, I mean, uh, uh, this word, yanfao, is it noun or verb or preposition? It's a verb, sorry. Okay, it's a verb. It's a verb. It means this one is a verbal sentence, right? Yes. <clears throat> so this verbal sentence, as long as it's given description for the indefinite noun, so it's an adjective of amalun uh, or this noun. And the type of this adjective is verbal sentence adjective because it's obviously uh, a verb. Uh, please, Mr. Gianni, I have another question for you. If you recall, when we uh, studied verbal sentence, we said there are two uh, compulsory components for any verbal sentence. A verb, which we can see here, and a subject. We cannot see the subject here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Uh, this one, this is, we agreed that it's a verbal sentence, right? Yanfao. Yeah. Right? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, it's a verbal sentence. Now we said any verb must have a subject. Fa'il. So where is the subject here? Al fa'il. Is it uh, is, is, uh, in the prefix uh, ya? Yeah. So okay, but, that, uh, uh, but this is a conjugation. It's oh. not. Uh, it's not the. Um, the ah, subject. sorry. Uh, the subject here sorry. is hidden. Will be Amalu. 
no, the subject must follow uh, the verb. So it's hidden here. The subject or al-fa'il can be hidden. How? Sometimes if, if you are asking English, even we are doing this in English. In English, for example, if someone is asking me, what Ahmed is doing? What Ahmed, let me type it here. Because this is very important. What Ahmed is doing. Uh, here we can simply uh, answer by stating the uh, verb. We can say eating, right? Or watching, watching a movie. We can, we can do that in English because we already know who we are talking about. There is no need to say Ahmed. Ahmed is eating or Ahmed is watching watching a movie. The same the same is here. هذا عمل ينفع. Okay, there is no there is no need to see to say ينفع هو, right? Because we we already understand from the context of the sentence. So anyway, uh, now we have seen this one is the adjective for عمل. And the type of this adjective is a verbal sentence adjective. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Gianni. Thank you so much. <coughs> okay, who is ready to take the next one? No one's ready? Engineer Mohan, you used to be active. Are you fasting or what? <laughs> Good evening. I'm, I'm here listening. Uh, I'm ready. I can read, okay? Okay, go on, please. This sentence. Marirtu bi shajarati ashajariha maurik maurikha. Okay. Marartu bi shajaratin. Uh, this one is Hadiqati, not B. Hadiqati. Sorry. Marartu bi Hadiqati, Ashdaruha, Murika. Okay, I passed. C can you do the translation? Um, translation what do you mean? What do you say? Marartu bi Hadiqati, I passed the. A garden. Yes, a garden. Adika. I passed by a garden. Let me type it here. And uh, the trees were Morika means? It's trees. Ashjaruha okay. means it's trees. Morika means um, has has leaves. Okay, okay. Have leaves. Shajaruha Morika, okay. It's only a single word. It means um, you know, uh, in 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 rain season, or in um, spring, in summer, in spring summer, the, yes, the leaves uh, they used to spring fall season. down from the tree, and then in spring, they will grow up again. So ajaruha morika means the, the tree already have leaves. Okay, so here we have a an adjective. Can you identify it? Okay, this this whole sentence is an adjective, huh? Yes. Okay, because what we have an indefinite noun here. <coughs> if you are busy, it's okay. You can we can give a chance to another boy. That's no, okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, we have an indefinite noun, and after this indefinite noun, we have a complete sentence. Okay, this adjective, what is the type of this adjective? Is it single? Is it verbal sentence? Is it nominal sentence? Or quasi It's a sentence? nominal sentence. So why it's nominal sentence? Because it starts with uh, uh, a shujar. Yes, a noun. Please nominal noun. sentence it begins with a noun. Okay, and, and even we have another indication here, this possessive pronoun. Like in, in the translation, it's trees. So this it's refers it's to what? 
to the garden, right? Hadika. I'm talking about the Hadika. garden, Hadika. Yes. So here, ha or Damirul uh, Mulkiya is referring to Hadika, the garden. Okay, so this is always happening in nominal sentence. If you have an adjective, nominal sentence adjective, you will see, you must see a pronoun which was referring to the described. Okay, as we saw last week. Okay, thank you, engineer. Thank, right, you, thank you so much for your participation. <laughs> so who is going to take the, the next one? Can I, sir? Okay, go on, Miss um, Umu Mujahida. Yeah. I saw Tiflan Phil Hadi Koti. Okay, I saw. Okay. I saw the child in the curtain. The, the child? adjective. Uh, literal child of what I should say. No, is it the child or a child? Oh, oh, oh. Indefinite. Yes. Uh, okay. So Sorry. I saw a child in the garden. Okay. Can you mm -hmm. identify the adjective? The adjective is Phil uh, Phil Hadikoti. It's Shibhul uh, Jumla. Okay. Shibhul Jumla. Phil Hadikoti. Because we have, again, the same indication. We have a an indefinite noun here, and after this indefinite, we have a quasi sentence. Shibhu jumla. Fil hadiqa. Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any any um, anything that this adjective will follow uh, the described noun? We said al uh, mufrad, al naat al mufrad, or the single adjective. It must follow the described noun in four things, right? But here, is it is it following the noun? Um, I'm sorry, sir, I don't get you. I mean, I mean, like here, we said manzilum uh, yes, yes. is following manzil. Yes. But here, is it following a tif? If, if, for example, I said raaitu tiflain, raaitu tiflain fil hadiqa. Is there anything that is going to change in this quasi sentence? I don't think so. Yes, exactly. So in quasi sentences, there is no anything to change. Uh, yes. No matter what you change the described. But here in single, uh, single adjective, it's following the described noun in four things as we explain. And also, yes. if the adjective <clears throat> is a verbal sentence, it must follow the noun in conjugation. So عمل, هذا عمل ينفع. Mm -hmm. If we, ينفع, if we yes. decided to make it, for example, عمل, uh, عملاني. عملاني ينفعاني. Yes, we must uh, conjugate the verb so that it will follow the described. And also, in nominal mm -hmm. sentence adjective, مررت بحديقة أشجارها مورقة. أشجارها here, mm -hmm. we chose this pronoun because uh, the described <laughs> is... Uh, feminine. So if it's yes. if it's uh, for example a masculine, it will be as jaruhu, right? Yes. Yes. So only quasi sentence or shibhul jumla is not following um, the described noun. Thank you, uh, yes. Miss Umuhawa. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, the next one is very tricky. I need someone to try to uh, focus or concentrate before he get the answer. جاء علي الفاضل. Okay, I have one here. Uh, iPad. Sorry, I didn't get the name. Can you open your mic, please? He is raising his hand. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, you can hear me well. Yes, I can hear you. Sorry, this is the first time you join us, right? Yes, this is, the, this is my first time. Okay, would you please uh, introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Ubangari Usman Shehu. I'm around 50 years from Nigeria. Okay. 
You are welcome. Yes. You are welcome, sir. So you know you have a background about Arabic. Well, I am just a beginner okay. trying to learn Arabic. Okay, you are welcome. You can check my own um, YouTube channel. You will see uh, all basic, all basic I, lessons you need. Yes, I, 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 I went through all your, your, your videos in the YouTube. Okay. You are welcome. I like them. Yes. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, sir. Can I read? Okay, you are, you want to read? Can you read this one? Uh, this Jaa Aliyun Al Fadilu. Al Fadilu, okay. Al Fadilu. Yes. Um, yes. We are we are trying to extract the adjective. Can you identify the adjective here? Al Fadilu is the adjective. Al Fadilu, okay. Means the al -fadil al means uh, the decent. The decent. Yes. Um, okay. Is okay. Yes, you're correct. This one is the adjective. But here we have some uh, issues. Here in the adjective, we see L, right? L for al But we don't see L here in Ali. Why? Yes, Aliyun is a proper noun. Yes, well done. You get it right. You have Al. So yes. both of them are definite, right? The yes, first one is different. definite because it's a proper noun, and proper nouns in Arabic are always definite. Our, yes. And this one is definite because we add L. Okay, the second yes. thing is this Dhamma, Al Fadilu, but here we say Aliyun. 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 Yes. Okay, why? Do you have, have any idea? Because, because it is a proper noun, it can it can be it can be read as Aliyun because that's the name. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, it seems that you you have already watched the video. Uh, you have a. I watched your video. All okay. of them. I have I have the background. Yes. Mashallah, you, you you are very nice. Uh, that, this is very nice. Yes, I enjoy your videos. I enjoy your videos seriously. Okay, you are welcome anytime. So, uh, thank you for your participation. <laughs> yes, okay, here someone might say this adjective for Aliyu. We said the adjective must follow the noun, but here we say adjective is defined or is definite by L. Here we don't see L because this one, as uh, our brother said, it's a proper noun and proper noun. Is definite by default. We don't need to, to add L, okay? And second, here, the case ending is different. Al-Fadilu, it's a single Dhamma because this is a definite noun. But here, why we, we did Tanween with a proper noun, however, they are um, definite. Because as we explained many times, there are some proper nouns we call memnoon min sarf Later on in the grammar course, we will explain what does it mean. But anyway, once you see a proper noun is having tanween, like Muhammadun, if you are reading Quran, you will you must have passed uh, by this name, Muhammadun, Nuhan. Luton, okay, and also Aliyun. Here we see Tanween, but not because they have Tanween, they are indefinite. No, they are definite because they are proper noun. So this is a special case or um, anomaly for uh, indefinite nouns, okay? So anyway, any proper noun you see, whether it has Tanween or it has a single label, or it might has uh, the different article L, or it might not has the different article. In all its cases, proper nouns are always definite, okay? So the last one, I will leave it for you to uh, do it yourself. I just want you to give me one minute exactly. I will come back um, to continue our conversation.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله So, alaikum. Sorry for being late. Uh, let's continue.
Okay, today we want to talk about education and studying. Um, I hope you see the screen. Please tell me in the chat if you see it. Okay. Uh, sorry, I... Uh, okay, anyway. So if you are talking about your uh, journey uh, with education, you must use uh, the best. And there are three ways to talk about the best. We can start with the simplest way. Uh, we only use the past verb, and this is equivalent to past simple tense in English. Okay, like this verb, darastu. Darastu, darasa, the verb darasa, means to study. Darastu means I studied. Okay, this is the simplest way. Then we can use kana plus present verb. This is equivalent to past continuous. If you want to talk about an event that was continuous in the past, you can use this combination. And of course, you must conjugate both verbs with the subject you are using. For example, I'm talking about myself. So I'm going to conjugate kana to be kuntu and yadrus to be adrus. Kuntu adrusu. So this uh, kuntu is a past verb, uh, the past of kana, and adrusu is present. So kana plus present verb is equivalent to past continuous. I was studying. Okay. Or if you want to say I was uh, something in the past, you can use kana plus the noun directly. And this is equivalent to I was or we were. Okay. Kuntu taliban. Kuntu taliban. I was a student. Kuntu taliban. I was a student. Okay. These are the three different ways uh, to talk about uh, the past. Then I have some vocabularies about education here. The first one is the verb to study. Darasa is the past. Yet is um, the present to study. Okay, and we have the verb graduate. Tahraja. This is the past. And yet means to graduate. Uh, the word studying means dirasa. Dirasa from the verb. Dirasa, yadrusu, dirasa. Studying, okay? Shahada means a certificate. Shahada. Okay, if we want to talk about a specific subject, madda. This is the name. Madda. Uh, this word, it means a subject. Uh, I mean, educational subject like math, physics, chemistry, or it can also uh, use to refer to a substance, okay? Med, um, this substance used in chemistry, for example. Med only means subject. Med dirasiyah. from dirasa, which means educational subject or studying subject, okay? Then we have the three main levels of uh, education. We have the nursery section or the nursery stage. We have two uh, vocabularies for that, hadana or rawda. Okay, both of them mean nursery. And then we have primary. Ibtidai. And then junior secondary. I'dadi. The and then senior secondary. I'm talking about the stages or the levels of education, the basic education levels. Thanawi, Thanawi. This uh, is equivalent to high school. And then stage means marhala. So we can use marhala um, and use these vocabularies as adjectives. Al marhala tu al rawda. Al marhala al ibtidaiya. المرحلة الإعدادية المرحلة الثانوية 
these are uh, the basic stages or levels of education. Uh, then we have acquire or to get. If I want to say I uh, acquired or I got a certificate in chemistry, for example. So you are using the verb hasala ala. And this is hasala um, or yahsulu ala. It's uh, an expression together. They are coming together. This verb and this preposition. Hasultu ala shahada. For example, we said shahada means certificate. So I got or I acquired a certificate. And then qualification mean, means mu'ahhal. Mu'ahhal. And the, um, the plural of this one is uh, intact feminine plural. Mu'ahhalat. Mu'ahhalat. This is the plural. So maybe uh, one person, he has many qualifications. He has... Um, a bachelor degree and also he has master degree and phd degree or diploma anyway uh, then we have school means madrasa madrasa university means jami'ah and then faculty or college means kulliya kulliya this one also means college okay i will write it later when i upload the pdf then uh, we can use madrasa in order to, uh, uh, in a combination with the basic education stages, madrasa tun primary school. We said ibtidai means uh, primary. So this one is an adjective. I'm trying to do an application on uh, the lesson of today and last week. Madrasa tun primary school. So ibtidai is an adjective for uh, madrasa. مدرسة إعدادية secondary school مدرسة إعدادية again إعدادية is an adjective for مدرسة high school مدرسة ثانوية ثانوية is an adjective for مدرسة okay uh, please okay let me let me just finish and then I will give you opportunity to ask questions uh, here we have some basic questions about education we can ask about, if I want to ask someone, what did you study? ماذا درست? Only two words. ماذا means what and درست is the verb درس. But here I conjugated with um, second person, singular, درست. If I'm talking to a female, a lady, I can say ماذا درست? If I'm talking to two persons, ماذا درستما? If I'm talking to a group of males, ماذا درستم? And finally, group of females, ماذا درستن? And so on. Or instead of saying, what did you study? I can ask about the qualification. What is your qualification? We said qualification is مؤهل, right? ما هو, what is your? ما هو means what is, okay? مؤهلك. مؤهلك. Here I added... Care, which uh, which means your muahel qualification muaheluka your qualification and again we can conjugate it based on the person we are talking to muaheluka muaheluki muaheluka 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 if I want to ask about the university I can use fi ay jamiatin fi ay fi means in ay means which Jamia, we already said it. Uh, university. In which university? Takharajta. We have already uh, said this one. Takharaja is to graduate. So it means in which university uh, did you graduate or you graduated? We can also uh, ask about the school. Fi ayi madrasatin darasta. In which school? Um, Okay, no problem. في أي مدرسة درست؟ In which school did you study? Okay. Next, uh, if you want to ask about your favorite subject, ما هي؟ I can say ما هي or I can say ما. There is no here. Okay. Both are correct. ما هي مادتك المفضلة؟ 
Al-Mufaddala means favorite. And also, again, this is an adjective. Adjective follow nouns. Madda means a subject, as we said. And we added here the possessive pronoun means your. Ma hiya maddatuk al-mufaddala? What is your favorite subject? Or we can use the verb yuhib. Madha tuhibbu? Min al-mawad. Al-mawad is a plural of mad subject. Madha tuhibbu min al-mawad? Or madha tuhibbu min al-mawad di ad-dirasiyati? Ad-dirasiyya again is an adjective for al-mawad. Ad-dirasiyya means educational. Means educational. So here, uh, the question, the translation is, what did you uh, like from the educational uh, subjects? Okay, I can say, maddati al-mufaddala, my favorite subject, hiya al-kimya, chemistry. Or you can use the verb, yuhib. Uhibbu al-riyadiyat. Riyadiyat means mathematics. I know many people, they, they are afraid of mathematics, but for me, I'm... I like mathematics. Okay, uh, then we can ask about the time and the number of the days we want we we went to or we go to university. Meta meta means when is asking about the time. Meta tezhabu ila al jamia. When are you go? When do you go to the university? Maybe you are going in. You used to go in the morning or in the evening, whatever. We can ask about number, uh, quantity, I mean. Uh, last week, we have said that kem is used to ask about a quantity. Kem means how many or how much. Kem yawman, how many days tadrusu, you are studying in the week. How many days you study uh, every week or weekly. Or I can ask about, uh, for example, uh, the graduation. Meta sawfa tatakharraj. Yatakharraj means to graduate. When will you graduate? This is a translation. We can uh, uh, use a simpler way instead of using sawfa, which means will, we can replace it with um, the prefix se meta meta setatakharraj. When will you graduate? Both of them are the same. So here we have se and sofa. Both of them mean will. Okay. So before I uh, read the conversation, uh, if you have any question, please, about uh, this part, you ask me before we go forward. Any question, please? Okay, let me, I have some sentences about myself. If you want to add uh, some about your own uh, education, Okay, here is my, I start by saying, Marhaban, hello. Ana ismi Mustafa. Let me use a pen. Marhaban means hello or welcome. Ana ismi Mustafa. My name is Mustafa. <coughs> Let me uh, correct this one. It's better to use it like this. أنا درست العلوم الأساسية في مدرسة المدينة. Okay. I studied the basic sciences in the school of the city. I mean my city. في مدرسة المدينة. Okay. مدرسة المدينة means school of the city. This is definition by addition. كنت أحب القراءة والكتابة. كنت أحب. I'm talking now about an action which uh, was um, continuous for some time in the past. 
كنت أحب كان يحب I was uh, in love or I like liked القراءة reading and writing والكتابة أنا أدرس الآن في كلية الهندسة منذ أربع سنوات I study now in the quality of engineering كلية الهندسة we said كلية means uh, faculty and الهندسة means engineering منذ since or for here means for أربع سنوات four years okay then سأتخرج العام القادم إن شاء الله سأتخرج I will graduate العام القادمة next year القادم means next this one and it's an adjective that's why it comes after the described noun العام means the year so سأتخرج العام القادمة I will graduate next year العام القادمة means next year أنا أحب الرياضيات والفيزياء كثيرا I love mathematics الرياضيات الفيزياء means physics كثيرا much I love physics and, uh, and mathematics much أريد أن أعمل مهندسا إن شاء الله أريد أن أعمل مهندسا I want to work as an engineer مهندسا means engineer uh, I can say بعد التخرج بعد التخرج التخرج means graduation بعد means after so I want to work as an engineer after graduation I forgot to uh, mention something here that I um, I had a diploma أنا حصل حصل تو على شهادتي الدبلوم دبلوما in Arabic means a دبلوم في الهندسة in engineering I had a diploma before in engineering so let me read it again مرحبا أنا اسمي مصطفى أنا درست العلوم الأساسية في مدرسة المدينة كنت أحب القراءة والكتابة أنا حصلت على شهادة الدبلوم في الهندسة أنا أدرس الآن في كلية الهندسة منذ أربع سنوات سأتخرج العام القادم إن شاء الله أنا أحب أنا أحب الرياضيات والفيزياء كثيرا أريد أن أعمل مهندسا بعد التخرج أوكي شال أي ريدت أجين أو إز إت أوكي So please, um, who is ready to do the same for himself? If you are ready, please um, raise up your hand. Okay, Mr. Paolo, he is ready. It's okay, open your mic, Mr. Paolo. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I read, I read. Okay, you want to read first? Ah, marhaban, um, ana is me uh, Mustafa. Okay. Ana darastu al ul al ulul no al ul al uluma al asasiya al asasiyata fi. مدرسة المدينة في مدرستي أوكي مدرستي 
é, Kuntu o, 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 o Ribu Alkira Wa Alkitab 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 Yes, Alkira Ata Walkitab Alkitab Yes Ana Ana Asaltu Asaltu Hasaltu Yes Ala Shahada He Shahadati Ah, Shahadati Al Dibaum Al Dibloom You can say Dibloma Al Dibloma Al Dibloom Al Dibloom Yes Al Han Al Handasa Fi Al Handasa Fi Al Handasa Al Handasa means engineer Okay. It's like this one. Uh, ana adrusu alan fi fi kulliyati fi fi kulliyati hal handi al handasa al handasa hi al handasati al handasati Mundu Mundu Arbahi Arbai Sanwat Sanawat, yes. Sanawat Sata Sata no Sata Ja Sata Sata Haraju, yes. Al 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 العام 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 القادم القادمة yes. إن إن شاء الله إن شاء الله yes. إن شاء الله إن شاء الله أنا أحب أحب Ari Aria Ariadi Ariadia Ariadiat, yes, Wa Alf Wa Alfiz Alfiz Ariadia Ariadia means uh, mathematics and Alfiz means physics. Okay. Ki kithiran. Ka kathiran. 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 Okay. Uh, the last. Aridu. No, Uridu. Yes. Uridu. An. Uridu. Uh, uridu. An. Amala. 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 This one, a mala. A mala. Yes. Muhandi, Muhandi san. Bada. Yes. Atta, atta ja, atta ja ruj. Atta ja ruj. Atta ja ruj. Atta ja ruj. At-takharruj means graduation. Now you, you talked about, about my, me. Uh, what about you? You, you? you didn't tell us about your qualification. Uh, sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, you, you, your qualification. Even you tell me in English and I will write it in Arabic and read it for you. What, what was your qualification? Ah, qualification of accountant. Okay. Anna, you can easily say, Anna, the Ras. The rest two, I studied account accountancy is al muhasaba al mu ha sa ba. This this one means accountancy. If you want to say accountant, okay. mu yes. ha sorry muhasib accountant muhasib. 
Okay. Okay. So you can you can simply say أنا درست المحاسبة. I studied accountancy. And this one you okay. can you can use it for any uh, measure or any field. أنا درست yeah. for example الطب. طب means medicine. أنا درست mm. um, in and, your case مو 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 هندسة. Yes, uh, I want to say engineering is al-hand-sa-ti. Ana darastu al-hand-sa. Ana darastu al-zira'a. Agriculture. And you are a muhandis. Yes, inshallah, will be. Okay. So this is the simplest way to say I studied or uh, um, I graduated. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What else? Um, what about your favorite, your favorite subject? So you studied accountancy. It uh, it means you are good in mathematics and statistics, right? No, no. Uh, my favorite object is history. History. Okay. Mm. So you can say Anna. I like. Yes. History. Do you remember? I, I already uh, mentioned history before. التاريخ. Uh, التاريخ. Uh, okay. Or if you want to say my favorite subject, I already said it here. Um, uh, where is it? مادتي المفضلة. Okay. مادتي المفضلة. My favorite subject. Here, a tarikh, or you can remove a tarikh and put whatever you are, you are up to. Madati al mufaddala. My favorite subject here, a tarikh. Okay. Okay. What else you okay. you would like to talk? About, you would like to say about your education? But now you you said you are retired, right? No, uh, yes, but uh, I, I I did understand, uh, and I say to uh, to benefit for everybody. Um, uh, um, uh, 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 is is a proper noun, uh, noun, but it's indefinite. I don't understand why. Okay, you are asking about Aliyu. Aliyu, see, si, eh, Ali Ali No, it's not indefinite. We didn't say it's indefinite. I said, I said, this one, this one is a proper noun, right? Ali, it's definite. It's definite. It's but but definite. why we put it the the tanwin? I don't want to to go further now because it's advanced topic. If, ah, if oh, I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. If I explain okay. it now, you you will feel it uh, <laughs> much more complicated. But just, oh, okay, just okay, understand okay. it like this. If you see tanween, okay. tanween with any proper noun, it doesn't mean this noun is indefinite. As long as mm. it's a proper noun, it's always definite. Yes. I, will, I will give you an example. I will give you another example. Some, some proper nouns are having um, the definite article, like a scene. A scene. This means China. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes. So is it definite because it has the definite article? No, it's not. It's definite because no. it's a proper noun. A proper noun. Oh. This L is an original part. It doesn't mean if you remove this L, it will become indefinite. No, it's an original no. part. It's an original part of uh, the word. You understand me? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. But later on, don't worry. We will come to it, inshallah. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Paolo. Thank you so much. I really greet you. You are you, Your reading is improving. Uh, thank you. You're, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, so, uh, who who else wants to to participate? Here is, um, here is the the main sentences of today. You can you can remove my name and put your name. You can remove my qualification or whatever I put here and replace it with your own. You understand? Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Gianni. Hello. Hello, Mr. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. 
Okay, Miss uh, Dia, uh, please, I will take your question after uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Gianni is over. Uh, okay, uh, are you going to, uh, to try? Uh, I will try. My husband, he's me, Gianni, and the last two. Um, uh, uh, the last two. Uh, Fi uh, uh, Jamia uh, Roma. Okay, Fi Jamia uh, Roma. Let me write it here. Let me write it. Anna. The rest two Fi Jamia Roma. Like this? Uh, Nam. Okay. Uh, fi Kuluya Tib. Uh, what? Fi Fi Okay. In uh, Faculty of Medicine. Ana darastu fi jami'ati Roma fi kulliyati tibbi. You can you can uh, combine uh, all this to be only one sentence, like this. Ana darastu fi kulliyati tibbi fi jami'ati Roma. Right? This faculty of medicine was uh, inside University of Roma, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, al al albo. You, you said what? Say again, please. Uh, thuma. Yes. Mm, a salto ala uh, shahada. Okay. Thuma. A salto ala shahadati. Okay. Um, I don't know how to say. Uh, uh, um, you say uh, in English. A calb, a calb, as cardiologist. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, it's like it's like master degree or what? Yes, is is a qualific is a, uh, a certification cardiologist to become a heart doctor. Okay, so you can. Uh, Okay, uh, it's it's uh, like special specialization, right? Okay, shahadati at tahasus the hasus at tahasus means um, it's like if you are a doctor and then you specify in a specific aspect of medicine, like. Uh, doctor of bones or doctor of heart. This is what it means. Mm -hmm. al means uh, specification. Shahadat al fi. You want you said in al qalb. Mm -hmm. Okay, fi al qalb. Tahassusi fi al qalb. It means you are a um, specialist, right? Specialist in. Yes. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know the uh, the medical name. <laughs> you, you just so, uh, said it, <laughs> but Bartology or whatever it is. Okay. Anyway, ثم حصلت على شهادة التخصصي cardiologist. Yes, I am. You know, I am uh, studying engineering, so I am far away from this uh, biological uh, terminologies. ثم حصلت على شهادتي التخصصي في القلب. What else you uh, you want to add? Biology. 
Okay. Uh, how, uh, but I don't know how to say in uh, Arabic. This one instead Kuntu. of okay. Kuntu. Uhibu. Uhibu. Yes. Uh, biology. Okay, biology means al ah. Yeah. Or you can say Kuntu Uhibu Madati. مادة الأحياء. Okay. مادة means subject or educational subject. الأحياء means biology. The subject of biology. Okay. This biology means uh, أحياء. Okay. Uh, what else? Mm. When did you graduate? Uh, متى تخرجت؟ Hmm. Was it far hmm. from from now? Uh, see. Yeah. So. Okay. Say it in English. Ah, you you wrote Say it in uh, English, fee, no problem. I can't remember. Uh, fee, uh, 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 alpha, wa, uh, talat. Okay, 2003? Uh, Nam. Okay, you can, you can write it down like this. Harajtu, fi an, في عام الفين وثلاثة الفين uh, means two thousand and ثلاثة means uh, three في عام الفين وثلاثة uh, it means uh, since uh, twenty years right نعم you can instead say تخرجت منذ منذ عشرين سنة تخرجت منذ عشرين سنة I graduated since 20 years right okay um, I think it's okay is there anything else you would like to add no it's okay okay can you can you read all of them from here to here all of them uh, once once more أنا درست في كلية الطب في جامعة روما. كلية الطب. كلية الطب الطب. نعم في جامعة روما. في جامعة روما. So you are supporting you are supporting AC Rome. <laughs> Rome, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, I thought you are from the south. Yeah, I'm supporting Napoli. Uh, no, no. They are doing, no. They are doing excellent job. Uh, uh, no, no. Okay. Tuma salto ala shahatiti at al qalb. You can, you can instead you can say tib fi tib al qalbi in a uh, heart. طبي القلبي. Uh, this one طب القلبي. Uh, it's equivalent to uh, cardiology. Okay. Ah, okay. ثم حصل حصلت على شهادة التخصص في طب القلبي. Okay. كنت أحب مادة ال ال حياة. الأح يا إي الأح this one is consonant الأح يا الأح يا تخرجت في عام الفين وثلاثة yes تخرجت في عام الفين وثلاثة or عام تخرجت 
Mundu Asharina Asana. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Jenny, uh, from now on, I'll call you Dr. Jenny. I didn't know you are a doctor. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, okay, uh, Miss uh, Dia, she had a question. Um, can you please scroll down? Down, okay. Yeah. Um, this Anadarastu Al Handasati. Why it is Handasati? Okay, Al Handasata. Sorry. Okay. Anadarastu Al Handasa. Yes, thank you for correction. It's supposed to be Handasa because it's an object. Di direct object. Mafaulun be, right? Anadarastu Al Handasata Al Kahraba Iyata, for example. Oh, thank you, Ms. Dea. Okay, I think the time is uh, is up already. Uh, the uh, breaking fast is almost after 15 minutes in my place or... No, it's not 15, it's uh, after 30, I mean. Um, is there any question, please, before we close the session? Any question, any confusion, any problem, any advice you would like to, to give me? Uh, sorry, so, so only for the timing. Uh, okay. Uh, since uh, we, in Italy we are one hour, uh, it's uh, like a, a six uh, thirty at the moment. Uh, okay. In uh, Egypt uh, is five thirty, isn't it? No, I'm I'm not so saying you, you, Egypt. It's you five thirty. Did, you didn't I change think. the you didn't change the time the time uh, uh, no, last no. night. No, I, I was talking about the time, but uh, most of the people, they say, just let, let's let give it this time uh, to be by, by four. I think it's yes, okay yes, for you. In Italy, in Italy, in Italy uh, last night, uh, we put uh, the timing one, one hour forward. Uh, okay. It's called uh, the... You, you don't do this in Egypt. When no, uh, uh, during not, the spring not, time, you change yeah. the time. No, I'm not staying in Egypt, that's why. Um, is uh, GMT plus one, uh, West African uh, timing. So I don't know. Now it's 5.30 in my place. Uh, what is what is it in your place? 6.30? Now it's, it's 6.30, but because we changed the timing, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, it, it's... Uh, we we do this twice a year. We change uh, at springtime. Uh, we move uh, the hour one hour forward. Okay, but uh, in but autumn, he's always you back. always join the the same time. Yes, so we take uh, the the Greenwich time as, as a reference. Okay. Yes, I I'm using okay. I'm using Greenwich plus one. Greenwich plus one. Greenwich plus one. Okay. Okay. Yes. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, any any question, please, before we close? Okay. I, I saw many uh, many people here. They are uh, joining us for the first time. Um, I think uh, Miss uh, Tia she she already introduced herself and also uh, Abangari. Uh, he also introduced himself. Is there anyone else who wants to introduce himself? Okay, uh, which, uh, sorry, uh, Miss Maikova, is it, w which country? Yes, hi, uh, Czech Republic. And I wrote to the chat that in Czech Republic is the same situation as in Italy. And we have now plus one hour from today. So now the Sunday's lessons will be in uh, five o'clock p.m. Okay, I hope the time from is okay today. for you. Yes, yes, it's okay for me. Okay, okay, no problem. You are welcome anytime. Um, so, um, uh, is there any question, please, before we close? <clears throat> okay. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for attending the class. Um, I, will, I will post it today, inshallah, on the group. Uh, the record and also the PDF.
thank you so much until we meet next week inshallah thank you so much jazakallah khair thank you jazakallah thank you thank you very much ma'asalama 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 ma'asalama